So Konami finally announced the third Yu-Gi-Oh game. They wanted to announce three Yu-Gi-Oh games, I think, for for a different platform, a different system each. They announced Duel Links for mobile. They announced that ultimate card battle game called Psycho Card Battle for the 3DS, and th those were terrible. I haven't played them, but I know they used the rule of speed dueling, and they were awful. So the third one, the third unannounced game is actually a PC port of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, the game that hit consoles back in July of 2015. I actually got it a short time after its debut. Um, I had a feeling this would be the one. Why they would need to make a new game from scratch when Konami had the one they didn't fuck up from the start? Um, it, it's not a hard question to answer. They clearly messed up the 3DS and the mobile phone versions with that whole speed duel rule. Uh, I, I really didn't want to play with a botched version of Yu-Gi-Oh that only had three spell and trap card zones with prearranged decks and 4,000 life points at the start. Uh, I have questions now. I mean, th we've only heard an announcement today, but already uh, I'm already excited with interest. And uh, basically, there's going to be DLC, there's going to be patches, and there's going to be um, there's, there's basically going to be more cards. And here's w all the following questions that I have that I hope Konami will be able to answer. Will there be new booster packs in the store with new character names? Will we see cards from the Dark Side of Dimensions film like Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and the Dark Magician redesign? Will we see cards from the latest Japanese seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5? Will we end up seeing the alternate universe versions of Aster, Edo Phoenix, Asuka Tenjon, Kaito, Jack Atlas, and Crow Hogan in the storyline, the gaming storyline, which is based on the five generations of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Yeah, the storyline of the games follows that of the anime. Well, a condensed version. Uh, could we end up getting tag dueling from Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist? Because I've seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Death Pro attempt to do that, and that actually would be great to see Konami implement. I know it's Konami. I'll get to that part. Um, let me get through my questions first. Will we get Synchro Pendulums, XC Pendulums, and Fusion Pendulum cards? Will the game abide by a new ban list? Please don't ban Raigeki. I really like that card. <laughs> um, will they patch the glitch that allows people to refund, like for lack of a better term, refund their card purchases? You guys know that glitch that if you buy from the store and then close the application of the game, it'll be as if you never bought the booster packs? I'm talking about that one. And some other concerns I have, aside from the other from the other questions, are will we end up seeing mods? In multiplayer mode, probably not. I don't know if Konami really wants anybody messing their shit up, messing their card setup with their programming. If you ask me about preference for Yu-Gi-Oh! video games, because I've never really talked about that, I love the Tag Force games. The Legacy stuff is awesome because it plays like the TCG. I've played the games, I've played Forbidden Memories, I've played the Sacred Cards, I've played Reshift of Destruction. I've played the Yu-Gi-Oh games that don't act like the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG. Uh, personally, I love Legacy of the Duelist better than the actual TCG because the card textures and all the different effects, they're heavily detailed, but there's so much writing on the card text, it's actually hard to keep up nowadays if you're not a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh player. That's why I will stick with the likes of an automatic dueling system. Automated, I should say. Oh, and I do miss dueling network a little bit, but the player just had to know what cards to move, and I really fell behind frequently given how much the game has evolved from the 2000s up to the 2010s. And yet another thing I have to say is that Yu-Gi-Oh! has been strong in terms of video games. Some people like to insist that Video games and the TCG don't mesh or meld well together. I actually disagree. Konami lately has been going about integrating Kazuki Takahashi's game into video game platforms all wrong. They really don't need to condense it with speed duels or giving you less about 40 cards to draw with, with a short deck. Or, or actually, it's less than 40. I think it was like 20 in the 3DS game, maybe 30. What they need to do is take a cue from Dev Pro and give us almost all the cards for free. I say almost because Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game that does need to make money. However, the fans have offered a better value 
and I've been, and there's been a lot of turnouts because they didn't need a world of free to play. I'm personally not a fan of play to win games. Pay to win. Uh, did I say play to win? I meant pay to win. Pay to win being that if I bought the DLC and defeated my opponent, it would have been because of the exclusive cards that were held behind a paywall. I'm really not a fan of that type of method in terms of playing a video game. Okay, look, now for the hard part to, to, to talk about. Even though a lot of people hate Konami, I do want this game to succeed and I want it to do well. One, it's the only game that doesn't suck, and two, maybe they're really trying, but we haven't played the PC port, we, ha we haven't seen it debut, and it's coming to Steam. I mean, that's kind of a shocker for me because I have never seen a Yu-Gi-Oh game come out on Steam. Um... I also have friends who play these games on console, and it's to me, recreational to the mind. It's recreational to my mind, at least for me. I hope the wait has been worth it, because this game from the developer, I think they're called Other Ocean. I'll actually link the name in the description. Well, I won't link. I'll just put the name out there. The card roster is huge. It had 6,000 cards at the start when this game came out on PSN and Xbox Live Arcade. Now the amount of cards in this game go somewhere between 8,000 and 9,000 in the TCG. The OCG, I don't even know. I'm actually not sure. And my final statement on this whole thing being that I just want to have fun. Please don't screw this up, Konami. I know about Metal Gear, Castlevania, and Silent Hill. Yeah, hopefully, Yu-Gi-Oh! is better nurtured than the other franchises that are either dead or now known to be pachinko machines. I know there's a lot of negativity surrounding Konami these days, but I really want there to be a positive side because I just want to play good games. I love having fun. Okay, guys. Um, I guess that's all I had to say. I don't really have any more questions for now. Maybe based upon the information that we learn... Um, that'll be the more appropriate time to to ask more detailed questions about what more uh, will be added to Legacy of the Duelist. What more functions will we get? What will we be receiving? Okay, so I'm just going to leave you guys with a little duel uh, in my next clip. Should be playing about now. I'm going to just show you guys how I play the game, and, you know, if you guys want to play uh, Legacy of the Duelist online, uh, send me your PSN names. Uh, I have a PS4. Uh, also, send me your Steam names, but maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. The game isn't out yet, so I guess I'll just wait till we get there to ask for Steam IDs. For, I don't have that many multiplayer games, but Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, wait, wait, there is magic. I, I still got to try the game out. I just got it recently. But I want to, I, I want to give that some time. I want to see if, like, card games can adapt well into video games, into software programs. All right, guys, that's all for me. Uh, see you next time. I am going to do other things now, like look up news about Digimon World Next Order. All right, see you later. Thank you.
Thank you. 